Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a holiday homeschooling planning video. So we're gonna be talking about homeschooling plans, homeschooling curriculum, and everything homeschooling through the holidays. Hey, welcome to the suburbs. I'm Clarissa. we jump into this video this is a collab hosted by Devine from calm in the chaos and shauna from homegrown homeschool so i will make sure to leave their channel links in my description along with a homeschooling holiday playlist with some more of my homeschooling youtube friends that came together to talk about their homeschooling plans all of those links will be in my description using the youtube app just click my title and the description will pop up and you will see all of the links right in there i i think this hat there's something wrong with it because I, I don't know if it's a kid hat now that I think about it. I, it was obviously meant for me because I was going to do this for YouTube videos and put hats on and stuff, but I don't know, like it stands up and stuff. So we're just going to go with it. Just be lucky you're not on YouTube wearing this ridiculous hat. <laughs> what do I do with my life sometimes? I got all of my stuff right here. I did bind some of our stuff and then there's some stuff that I didn't get to bind, but I just wanted to get this in the video. Hopefully the lighting is good in here. I'm actually really excited because I got a camera and a professional camera, which I'm not using right now, but I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So hopefully my videos will start looking a little bit more crisp. I'm so excited to finally get a camera. Hopefully my videos will start looking a little bit better because I'm doing everything off of my phone. So that is why my videos sometimes look a little fuzzy because filming everything on my iPhone. So enough of that, let's get started. So I'm going to get started with our main unit study. Also, I will make sure to leave all of the links in my description for everything that I'm talking about. So we're going to talk about the first unit study right here. Everyone's seen it, the gather around homeschool unit study. So everyone has probably seen this unit study, but I want to talk about it and just kind of throw it in there. Um, this is going to be our main unit study that we're going to be using. Um, they do have two Christmas unit studies. They have the My First Christmas unit study, and then they have this one, which is the Christmas Around the World. And um, I'm probably going to try out the My First Christmas, but I wanted to do this one first. Um, I just thought this would be a little bit of a better fit for where we're at in homeschooling right now. I can't remember, honestly, I don't think this book came with it, which is the recipes book. It might have been separate. I'll be honest, I, I don't remember um, if I purchased this separately or if it did come with the unit study. But this is the recipe book that goes with the unit study. So these are just some recipes. I'm going to open it really quickly to show you guys. Um, let me see. Let me get to the table of contents. This is the Christmas around the world unit study. So these are all going to be recipes from those countries that you're talking about in the unit study. So they're all going to be linked and it tells you what lesson that you are in. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be focusing because I can't see what you guys are seeing, but, um, it will go through the countries and it will tell you what lesson you are in and what to cook for that day or week. It's, it's really cool. It has just different um, recipes that are associated with Christmas time or during the holidays for those countries and what normally um, people are eating during that time. It's, like I said, I'm not sure if it was included or if I bought it. I just, I don't even remember anymore. I bought this unit study a while back and we haven't obviously used it. The unit study will come with a teacher's guide and then you will print out your workbooks for each of your kids. I'm only homeschooling two kids right now. I do have a younger daughter who is almost two, but obviously she's not homeschooling with us yet. They have different levels. Um, I just wanted to just point out. So the workbook levels that they do have is, is the pre-reader, early reader, early elementary, upper elementary, middle school, and high school. So that's how the workbooks um, are kind of divided. So this is a pre-reader. This was kind of more advanced, I feel like, for like just advanced, like someone who is already reading could probably use this, um, this workbook. Still a lot of words in this, so I'm still gonna have to help him with the workbook because obviously there's a lot of words and um, sentences that I will have to read to him. This is going to be their workbooks that they're going to be going through. And this is my um, upper elementary, so my fifth graders workbook. They do have the teacher's guide. So this is your main base for the curriculum. Um, and you're going to be going through the units and reading 
each of the units. So this unit is pretty much about a three week unit study. So if you do this unit study four days a week, it will last you about three weeks. So um, we're probably gonna start this after Thanksgiving just to kind of give us a little bit more time to get through the unit study just because we're doing other things. This is something that I've kind of been seeing a lot going around with Gather Around, but they do say that Gather Around is very wordy and that there is a lot of reading. I think it's a reasonable amount of reading. So I don't think that it's like overly wordy that's their attention. Um, I can't speak for their other curriculum because maybe their other curriculum, like their main curriculum is probably more wordy, but I don't really feel like this is too wordy. It's about two to three pages. What I was gonna say about this unit study, do you have an MP3 recorded teacher's guide? So if you feel like you don't wanna read, you know, to the kids, or you just kind of want them to do it a little bit more independently, especially for the older ones, you can purchase that MP3 file. So just wanted to throw that out there. That is an option. So that is our main unit study. So I am going to talk about the homeschooling, the holiday homeschooling hub. And um, well, before I start pulling this up, <laughs> let me talk about the holiday homeschooling hub. And again, links are all in my description. I'll make sure to leave the link for the details. It's funny because I have researched so much homeschooling stuff and I've never heard of this this not it's not a really a program but i've never even heard of this option ever for all of the years that i have just been just immersed in curriculum and i've never heard of it. the holiday homeschooling hub is a place that will be that is for homeschooling families moms dads or whoever who homeschools their kids it's a one time fee i want to say that it's 24.99 oh gosh like i think that's how much it was i think it's $24.99. If it's not $24.99, it's $29.99. It's one of the two, but I'm pretty sure it's $24.99. But with that, you get a ton of holiday resources. So you get a bunch of holiday unit studies, book unit studies, um, freebies, worksheets, and just all sorts of different resources that you can print digitally. On top of that, you will have tons and tons of pre-recorded workshops. So I'm actually one of the speakers for the homeschooling, for the holiday homeschooling hub. So I was really excited to do that. And for every, um, for every workshop, you get a, either a free printable, a resource, some more to enhance that workshop and just everything that you would need to have a successful homeschooling experience for the holidays is all in there. And plus we have a chat so we can talk to each other. There's so many resources that are constantly being added to it through the holiday season. So you will have access to that till the end of, um, I think till January 1st, um, you have access to all of the freebies and stuff to print and workshops. And then on top of that, you have the support from everyone and all of us so that you can continue be feeling supported during the season. I'll make sure to leave the link down below for that homeschooling holiday hub. It's also pretty neat if you have an Apple or an Android, there is an app so you can download it and you can just access the hub from your app. I really thought that was super cool when I saw the, the app. I was so excited so I've been using that. I could just get my phone, flick it on, see what's going on for the day. Um, see if there's any more resources that have been added. I pretty much have all of the resources that I'm showing you guys are all from the homeschooling hub. So I just wanted to throw that out there, um, the rest of the stuff. So first off, this is actually a planner that I created for the homeschooling hub. So this one's only exclusively for the hub. I just want to throw that out there, but it is a freebie for those who are in it. I haven't filled it out yet, but I'm planning on filling it out, obviously. So I found it and everything. I just haven't had time to do it. Um, I'm hoping to get everything kind of situated this week to get us started um, next week. That's really my plan is to start getting us started on the holiday homeschooling, if that makes sense. Like we're doing a regular homeschooling, but that's the that's plan is starting next week. You'll have a November and a December layout. And I just put like, it's all like themed. So I have a Thanksgiving kind of theme going. I do have a place right here where you can add your plans, like unit studies that you're maybe doing events that are going on. So this is also, I wanted to mention, this is customizable. So you can print as many sheets as you want and bind them if you needed more sheets, like, you know, needed more space. Um, but I have a movie and book list here. I also have grocery list, a holiday grocery list and a weekly grocery list. So again, like I said, you can download as many of these as you want. And I also have a menu. So if you want to kind of write down a menu for maybe like holiday stuff. And then I have themed weekly sheets. So everything's themed like this is Thanksgiving and there's different graphics for every week. And kind of the same thing for the Christmas one, as you can see, it is Christmas themed and same concept, but everything's kind of has like the Christmas graphics. The Christmas one that is different. 
is that this one has a gift list. So I actually printed out three of these um, that are in here. So three of them for each of my kids. And I'm going to be listing what I got them, how much it was, and just to kind of keep track. I did print out three of these. And then the same concept, like I said, there is all the Christmas planning weekly sheets. So this is an exclusive product that I created. I was so excited for the homeschooling app. So that is the planner. Okay, so these are, again, some of the resources I've printed out. This is a pop-up holiday card and book. Um, she has a workshop and teaches you how to create the pop-up cards and also pop-up books. So she has a workshop there. And then this is just a printable that goes with it. She gives examples of pop-up um, cards that you can do with the different templates. So there's a template in here card. So like there's different like pop-ups that you can do. I don't know how to explain it, but I did print out the template for that. So this is one project we're going to be doing. I also printed out a bunch of um, writing prompts. This one is going to be for my older son. So they had different levels like um, preschool level. This is the upper elementary level. So these are a bunch of holiday homeschooling writing prompts. So I thought this would be a great way to incorporate writing, spelling, language arts, um, just in a fun way. So I did print out this one and this one is going to be, they had different levels. So I got the upper elementary level. And like I said, there's just different writing prompts. So what I think how I'm going to organize this is I'm going to bind all of these different writing prompts. As you can see, there's examples um, of what he can write. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put a blank page in the front and I'm going to bind it. And then from there, I'm gonna let him decorate the front and this will be his writing journal for the holiday season. I also printed out the one for my younger son. Um, it's a little bit easier for my younger son to do. There's a picture in the spaces. There's not as much writing, obviously. So um, this is the one for my kindergartner. So I'm going to be binding those and then I'm gonna let them decorate the front. So the next thing I printed out was for my kindergartner. So these are holiday syllables. So these are just worksheets, um, or not really worksheets, but just more um, place so he can um, practice his syllables. You can see, so I'm gonna cut them out, laminate them, and you're gonna go from there. Maybe play some games. Okay, next, I printed out, um, this is just an easy arts and crafts. This is probably more for younger elementary, but I'm gonna have my older son do it anyways. They're like create a Christmas tree worksheets. So there's different ones right here. So I actually printed out one for each of my kids, even my um, my daughter, and they have like the stump so they can do that. So I might have them end up painting this um, instead of coloring it just to kind of make it a little bit more, a little bit more fun and it has lights and it just has all of the different templates, the gingerbread ornaments, um, some more ornaments. So I might end up having them do something a little bit more fun with it other than coloring, either maybe painting or um, maybe using actual stuff around the house to glue on it. So I might do something like that just to make it a little bit more fun. So I did print this out for them. Again, this is just more of like a, a fun resource. I'm not gonna show all of them, but I ended up printing out a different, um, they did have a bunch of different crafts and positivity charts and stuff like that. So I did end up printing out a bunch of those and I printed out different um, arts and crafts ideas for the holiday season. So a last thing that I wanted to mention that we're going to be incorporating our homeschooling through the holiday is just fun activities. We are going to be baking. We're going to be reading books. We're going to be watching movies. We're going to be going to Christmas festivals. So that is something that's really, really important to me um, and kind of just incorporate in our homeschool. And I know that's not really homeschooling related, but I do feel like there's a lot of learning with that. Even going to festivals, we can talk about, you know, maybe the history of certain things at festivals, the history of St. Nick, as yes, we do like to travel around the state and kind of like go to different events and stuff. So that is something that we do like to do a lot in our homeschool. So I'm going to be incorporating that a lot in our homeschool along with books and movies and baking. And I'm just so excited. So I also wanted to mention, last thing I wanted to mention was this right here, which is the Christmas movie recipe book. And I know this is not really homeschooling related. This is something that we're going to be using a lot. And of course you can incorporate this with homeschooling when it comes to measuring things, reading, and just throwing that out there. I'm actually gonna have my kids picking out different recipes through the week for different um, for different movies. So if we're watching a movie that day, we are going to look to see if the movie's in here, which most likely it will be because this is jam packed with a bunch of movies. And we're gonna try to make a recipe from that movie and watch the movie at the same time. They have Home Alone in here. They had Polar Express hot chocolate in here. I mean, there's just so many different recipes for different Christmas movies. So I just wanted to throw that out there. This is such a fun book. I will make sure to leave the link for this book if you're interested in this. Um, 
But yeah, that is everything that we are going to be doing for the homeschooling holiday season and our plans and how we're going to kind of organize things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some ideas and inspiration. Don't forget to check out Davine's channel at Common and Chaos Homeschool and Shauna's channel at Homegrown Homeschool along with that holiday homeschooling playlist. It will be in my description and check everybody's videos out. You will love all of these wonderful ladies who came together to bring some more ideas and inspiration to you guys. Also, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I talk homeschooling, homemaking, cleaning, organizing, and just all of that stuff. So if you like that type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.